Alright guys, doing some lure painting tonight. Just gonna just make some quick and dirty lure painting. We'll start out with the uh, prep spray. Like to use it just to make sure everything's nice and clean. Basically what the prep spray does is it just cleans contaminants off of the surface, give it a nice healthy coating. And this is just a lure I found uh, when I was fishing. I'm going to do kind of a quick and dirty paint, or at least as quick and dirty as I can make it. But I'm going to start off by chroming the whole thing. We'll just let that dry for a little bit longer. I've already sanded it. It was pretty rough. I sanded it some more. It's got kind of a foiled skin. This is a, uh, from near as I can tell, this is a cotton cordell pencil popper. I found it at the river and uh, it was pretty beat up. So I'm going to just kind of give it a new lease on life, as it were. Okay, it's one coat of chrome. I'm gonna do one more coat of chrome just to make sure I get a good coverage. I don't mind painting my fingers because who cares? I'll just rinse it off. go that is probably enough chrome I found this stuff at Walmart it's a uh, rust-oleum glitter paint it's kind of a chromey glitter add that See the glitter kind of makes it a little less chromey, but it's sparkly. See how well that works. Just a little bit of glitter. I don't want a huge amount. I'm back with my glowy fluorescent spray. This is gonna be bright, but I don't need very much. Just trying to get a little bit of good coverage. I think that looks good. I'm going for a 
a quad color scheme on this. Obviously, the sides are gonna be kind of a chrome with glitter. The bottom will be chartreuse with glitter. The top will be purple, also with glitter, obviously. And then I'm going to uh, hold up just kind of a, a template and spray through it with brown to achieve kind of a scale-like effect. Hopefully it'll look really cool. Then I'll leave it overnight to dry before I apply a clear coat. What do you think? That looks pretty good, right guys? All right, I'm back. We're gonna try and finish this up. Okay. Well, it's better. Well, here it is, guys, the next day. I'm back. It's looking all right. It's not quite as uh, dark as I would have liked the back, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to uh, do the eyes now. So in keeping with my quick and dirty theme, I'm just going to do the eyes very simply. I've got my red paint pen. And I'm just going to take it. Color around the eye real good. There we go. See that? Do the same on the other side. Just a really good, making sure you get every spot. There you go. We'll let that dry. Well, while that actually, I need to do the mouth as well. If I screw this up, it's because I have really shaky hands. But I really just want to do this because I feel like a popper without a red mouth is like blasphemy. It is tradition. For a popper to have a red mouth. Am I right? I mean, clearly. Here we go. Okay, so you can see this is already drying. Once it's dry, I'm just gonna take a big old flat edge Sharpie and use it to dot the eyes, and then we'll be ready for clear coat. All right, I'm back. I got my Sharpie, and I'm just gonna really quickly color the end of this.
There you go. What do you think? How's that look? Looks pretty good to me. Let's do this other side. There we go. The lure now has eyes. Now we're ready to start clear coating. Okay, that's the first coat. And I'll probably do about three, maybe four more coats, just get a nice, good, hard coat on it. Well, I'm back and uh, I've got the final product with hooks, they're not the best hooks. My local Walmart does not have hooks of a sufficient size to put trebles on this thing, but uh, They did have these sort, just regular old bait hooks. So I took some, painted them chartreuse because I'm a weirdo, put them on there. Maybe I'll catch something with this, I don't know. It's, it's a little big for what I normally fish for, but it'll definitely go in my saltwater box. But you can see here, it looks pretty good, I think. It's good and shiny. Looks better than it did when I started. I think that'll be a good usable lure so just want to thank you guys for keeping an eye on me through this like I said this was a quick and dirty found in the river let's repaint it and see if we can do something cool with it I think we have so I'm gonna put it with my other lures and uh, Go do something else. See you guys later. Peace.